Uh, for those of you who do not know me, I, my name is Abdeen Jabara, and uh, I've been uh, asked to chair this event this evening. I'm so happy that uh, there are so many people that have turned out here because this is the third report back held in New York City since people came back two weeks ago. And New York City can be particularly proud because, and New York State, because there were 80 people, 80 people out of the total of 350 Americans that went to Cairo for this march. So we had a uh, tremendous representation and the reason for that is of all of the preparatory work and all of the meetings and all of the uh, uh, information that was disseminated about this march by uh, organizers here in New York City. And so I think uh, we have to uh, take our hats off to them. Um, some of them are not, uh, I don't even know all of their names, but they were just wonderful. They've done fantastic work. <clears throat> so I'd like to thank, begin by thanking Judson Church for providing space for this event and generally providing a place where progressive organizations can meet. Uh, and we're, we're thankful for uh, Judson's place in the history of people's struggles uh, here and around the world. So I, I think we should give a hand to Judson Church. <clears throat> you know, tonight, I think one way of looking at tonight is not just as a report back, but as a celebration. We are here to celebrate a historic achievement. Seven months ago, the idea of a Gaza Freedom March was just an idea. It's remarkable. Almost 1,400 people from around the world were mobilized in a great joint effort for international solidarity with the Palestinian people of Gaza, to travel thousands of miles from their respective countries in North America, Europe, Asia, and Africa, to Egypt, where despite the last minute Egyptian government decision to block their entry, they gained major international attention to the plight of the people of Gaza and the crushing siege that they are living under. When I was asked to join the steering committee for this march six months ago, I did so for one reason, and that it was going beyond the traditional solidarity of engaging in speeches and forums and information work and demonstrations to a new level of mass international mobilization via the internet that in one way or another would involve thousands of people from many different national, religious, and political backgrounds in one simple common objective, ending the siege of Gaza. And of course, we were never so naive to think that one march would accomplish this. But we were convinced that it would be part of that great river of human struggle for justice for Palestinians and Palestine. Tonight, we have four wonderful speakers, each of whom will speak for no more than 10 minutes, after which we will have a few short announcements, and then we'll have time for some questions and answers. So it promises to be the true celebration that it is. 